We'll start off these previews with the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. And of course, Notre Dame, a brand new head coach. Brian Kelly left for LSU. And now Marcus Freeman is going to be the new head coach. Last year, they went 11-2. and two. That includes a bowl loss to Oklahoma State. And what a hell of a ball game that was. 11-1 uh, and one in the regular season. Their postgame win expectancy was 9.56 and 2.44. So, uh, closer to a 10-win team than an 11-win team. The offense was strange. Uh, they typically have been really good at running the football. Uh, even with Kyron Williams last year, though, they were number 94 in rushing success rate. So, uh, the offensive line was still pretty good. They just didn't seem to know what they were trying to do, especially early in the season. Now, late in the season, once the schedule eased up, whew, uh, that defense rocked and rolled, man. I mean, they were they were unbelievable. Uh, they lose Jack Cohn. They lose Kyron Williams. They lose uh, Kane Madden, the right guard. Uh, they lose Kyle Hamilton, who they didn't have for the back half of the uh, schedule last year. Uh, but they do replace Kyle Hamilton with Brandon Joseph from Northwestern. So, you know, NFL guy gone, NFL guy comes in. Let's start off with the offense here. Tommy Reese is back. Uh, do the handcuffs get taken off a little bit without Brian Kelly around? I, I don't think Marcus uh, Freeman is going to do anything to kind of slow him down. You you feel the same there? Well, yeah. So they're not going to, like, tell him what he can and can't run. He's definitely going to run his, his program the way he wants uh, from the offensive side. And that's fine. They didn't have a quarterback last year. I'm very curious to see the quarterback situation this year. They basically bounced around to like three different guys last year. Yeah, they they are replacing a quarterback for the second straight year. Uh, the presumed starter, Tyler Buckner, missed spring ball with an injury. So, you know, does Buckner come in and just take the job, or is it Drew Pine? Like, we'll we'll see what happens there. They do have four offensive line starters back, so that's definitely good. Whoever starts at QB is going to have the tight end Michael Mayer to throw to. Uh, that's awesome. That's right. So, but they yep, need big dude. these inexperienced star wide receivers. Uh, they are going to need them to click early. I think uh, you've you got to get the running game going. You got to get these wide receivers comfortable. Uh, their offense, number ninety eight in returning production, fifty four percent overall returning production on the team is number forty three at sixty seven percent. But the defense returns the most. Seventy nine percent of the snaps are back. On defense, uh, that's number 16 in the country. And as far as the roster strength goes, you know, I've talked about this with these other conferences. Notre Dame, number 10 overall roster strength in the country. Number 13 on offense, number 5 on defense. Uh, with Marcus Freeman as the head coach, I would imagine that the defense stays the same, right? Because they actually improved last year with him coming in in his first season. Uh, they were number number 15 in defensive points, uh at predicted points allowed per drive. So pretty, pretty damn good. Pretty, pretty damn good. Yeah. Um, the new defense coordinator, what I'm real curious about is Al Golden. He hadn't coordinated a defense since 2004. Uh, he's either been a head coach or an NFL position coach since then. Uh, a lot of people remember Al Golden being the head coach of the Miami Hurricanes years and years ago. Didn't work out there. He was a DC before that at Virginia. And, you know, if you hadn't been in D.C. since 2004, like, how difficult is that transition? Like, we know Marcus Freeman was the D.C., and he'll be there to help along uh, Golden, but, you know, Golden's been in the NFL for years. So I'm, I'm curious what the difference is, right? Uh, they're returning 9 of 12 players. They had 400-plus snaps. They're bringing in Brandon Joseph at safety uh, to handle Kyle Hamilton's spot. The talent on this team is absolutely there. Uh, does anything change on defense from Freeman taking the head coaching role? Like that's I don't imagine we'll see a change in in the scheme on defense, but you bring in an Al Golden, a guy that's really experienced. You know what's the difference here? Um, Chris, tell me what's what's your record here? I've got them nine and three. I think they're going to be really really good, but that's, I don't know that they're going to be great because I think the schedule's just tough. I have them nine and three as well. And, and so, Notre Dame just continues to always play one of the most difficult schedules in the country. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Um, That's nothing new for them. But They've got Clemson at home. They do play at USC. They play at Ohio State to open the season. 
Uh, they play at North Carolina. They've got Cal at home. Uh, they play BYU on the road, or not on the road, but in Vegas. Uh, you know, I, three losses in here I don't think is is crazy. And I think 9-3 and three would be a pretty successful year for a first-time head coach. Like, I don't think that's yeah, crazy. Uh, it would be a little bit of a downtrend from what they've been over the last however many years with Brian Kelly, but it, they, they're going to have to hit a quarterback. Like, I really think that's yeah. important uh, with some of these bigger games. So, uh, my keys to the season here, determine a quarterback, get the skill guys to gel early. Uh, Marcus Freeman will get his feet wet early, returning to Ohio State for his first game, and then a couple of likely wins before traveling to Chapel Hill. I said, this is a top-10 roster, but we're going to have to see how the changeover at the top affects everyone. So, it's going to be interesting. I, that, that first game against Ohio State, I am super curious about because this defense is loaded, uh, but I don't know if the offense has enough to be able to keep up. And I think that's been their problem for several years now. I don't know that it changes in year one with Marcus Freeman. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.